William Hill sponsors IFL TV. I'm the man to beat Daniel Dubois. We're going to sleep. Thank you. Cheers. Sonny, all ready for July 13th? Yeah, all ready. Um, I won't have too many more spars now. I'm on Saturday, I'm three weeks out. I've done quite a lot of sparring for this camp. You know what I mean? I helped Lee for his f comeback fight. I've helped Lee for this fight. I've been sparring Charlie. I've been sparring Carl Williams for his fight. Do you know mm. what I mean? So I've been, I've, been, I've been busy sparring. I've done a lot of rounds. So 10 rounds there. I'll probably get another 10 rounder in next week and then I'll probably call it a bit early. Oh. I'm really cool sparring a bit early this time. Like I say, I've got like a little a little scratch there, so just want to be right, you know what I mean? Just want to be right. Um, but yeah, I, feel, I feel good. The weight is good. I didn't let myself blow up too much in between this fight to my last one, which which is good. Not not always the case. Sometimes I go up a bit too heavy, you know, struggling to get motivated. But I haven't got a fight date. But, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I know I just spoke about it then. I think it's a great bill. I think it's a great mm. bill. Um, can Gorman be the man to stop Daniel Lebron? <laughs> I think we've all heard that. <laughs> certain somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I think it's a great bill. Obviously, Archie Sharp McCory, who's actually based in this gym as well. Cash is trained by Jordan McCory's trainer as well. Mm -hmm. So I've been told. Um, I think that's a good fight. Joyce well. Jennings, very good fight. Great fight. Um, I wonder who match made that. <laughs> No, 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 no. Oh, I'm, not yeah, making, I know. I'm not making a joke. Um, because a lot of people said it's a bad style for Joe. Do you know what, though? I think with Jennings, it's like, this might be my ignorance, but he seems to be one of those rare fighters that are a bigger name than people have actually watched him properly. Does that make sense? What like, do you mean? He carries a good name. Like, Jennings, I, I knew exactly who Jennings was. Well, because of the Klitschko fight, I guess. Yeah, the Klitschko Ortiz. fight, it's Ortiz. But it's like... Sorry. See you later, mate. But it's like... He's like, he's like, he's just like, he's like a big name, but I, I haven't seen too much of him. Do you know what I mean? I've only seen him in the clips of old season. Rivas fights, the ones he lost actually. Yeah, that, 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 that's what I'm saying. Um, but he's very confident. I like the way he speaks. Um, probably Sam Jones made it to honest. Um, thinking about it. But that just shows his ambition in Joe Joyce. And at, at the end of the day, he's not a spring chicken. So mm. if he wants to get to the top, he's got to take big steps there, not going all around the houses um, and I think that's what he's doing like okay he did box uh, an overweight Stavern but Stavern showed still for a couple of rounds he had hands you know yeah I mean? he was catching Joe yeah, yeah and what a what a what a chin Joe Joyce has got mm. what a chin um, was it I, I didn't watch it but was Joe Joyce on the punditry for Fury, Fury I didn't watch it either I saw uh, a tweet I was in Leeds but I was in Leeds yeah oh yeah of course forgot you, you were there me. <laughs> forgot about that who was he talking about that night? We weren't talking about you and Charlie in the interview, were we? No, nah, uh, not the headline. Who was he talking about? Oh yeah, we was talking about your good old mate uh, AJ. <laughs> huh? <laughs> um, Coogan. Yeah, it was George Groves, John Fury and Joe Joyce. That is a strange combination. How did he do, Joe Joyce, you know? I don't know, but there was a clip going around on Twitter, I'll show you after, it was pretty funny. Yeah, Very you know funny. what? I've known Joe for years. I remember Joe when he first walked in a boxing gym at Ellsfield, and I must have been 11, 12. And he's, he's a lovely bloke, though. You know what I mean? He's not the sharpest tool in the box. I don't think he'll mind me saying that. He's not, he's he's not got like, a degree, though, isn't he? I'm not saying he's not intelligent. Yeah. I just mean he's not like... Witty. Bang, bang yeah, on the yeah, ball, yeah. witty. Do you know what I mean? And, and I think that adds to his character. It does, it does. It's yeah. like he gets in the ring, walks forward, throwing punches, <laughs> and just steamrolls. Doesn't people. mind taking shots. All right, look. Dubois Gorman, quick, let me just have this go before on. you go. Um, Dubois Gorman, I like both of them. I like both of them, lads. And I think... Gorman is far superior skills wise, I don't think it's, it's hard to argue, but Dubois is so relentless and strong and similar to Joe Joyce. A fight I want to see is Dubois versus Joyce. Joyce. I think that would be one of the funnest fights ever. It would be a huge fight. If, Gore, if Dubois does well against Gorman, I think that fight would make the most sense, to be honest. I don't see why not. Well, either either could fight again. Joyce, really. The winner could fight Joyce. No, that's what I mean, but I think you know what you're getting with Gorman. I think. It would be such a rare occasion that two heavyweights like Joyce and Dubois just get in the ring and just walk forward for a bunch. It would be great. I don't, I don't know how long it would last, 
But I feel like it'd be whoever catches who, who first, you know. But um, yeah, great card, like I said. Liam Williams fighting a former European champion. Is that right? I think so. Um, and obviously me against the Mexican mm. for the IBF International. Um, what was you saying about Mohamed Wasim? Oh, yeah, I spoke to him today and he said that... Uh, I was just asking about world title fights, etc. He said he's ready for anyone. Obviously, I mentioned Charlie's name, um, seeing as he holds a world title, WBC belt, and he said that he's ready and he'd beat Charlie Edwards now. Um, I mean, it's all right saying that to get, in, to get into a fight, but what, what has he done to deserve uh, another world title shot. The same thing with Paddy Barnes. Like when he had a world title shot, yeah, have the first one. You deserve that from your amateur background. Same as Wasim, he won a Commonwealth silver medal mm. and he went 8-0 or something. So yeah, go on, have that. But you lost. And Moriti Matalani, a friend of mine, I spent three weeks with him in, in Ukraine. But he's an old man. And you lost to him. Do you know what I mean? Um, what is he, 36, 36 years old? I think so. So it's all right saying, oh yeah, I'd beat him, I'm ready for him. You haven't even had a comeback. He's not fighting this weekend, though. No, he's pulled out. He hasn't pulled out. Something happened. Some scan or something. Yeah, but that's 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 not. Oh my god, he might not box again. That is so common now. We had a boy in our gym. Um, they've got a lot stricter on the brain scans. Maybe right and all, but you used to be able to have three changes in your brain scan. Now you're if one change of a certain percentage, you have to get sent to a specialist to double check, mm. which is a right ball ache because just like Wasim, it cost my friend to pull um, have to pull out, vacate his title lose out on all his ticket money and then pay out extra for another specialist. It's a right ball lake and when he, my friend's working full time so something he really didn't need but he had to go see a specialist in London and now he's got the all clear and he's ready to fight again. So it's just one of them things so oh, I wish him the best of luck like that um, with all that side of things because I couldn't imagine, you know what I mean, touch wood, I couldn't imagine getting told that I can't box again. That would be hurtful, that would be horrible. Mm. Um, but yeah, I don't think it'll be anything like that. Um, but like I said, I would like to see him, him fight at a level that's not straight into world level because you can't just sort of, you know, have a comeback fight at world, world level again. What, are you going to keep doing that until, like, 40 and 0, just, like, until you get a win a world title? You can't do that. Um, I'd fight him. Yeah? Yeah, of course I would. I'd fight him. I told Danny Vaughan that at uh, Scotland five weeks ago. I'd fight him. If it was worth my wife. You know what I mean? I'd fight him. Should be an easy one for me. I don't think he deserves to fight Charlie, and maybe the fight against me, if I beat him, pushes me onto world level. I fight him. He don't. He don't deserve. Does he deserve in the pro ring a world title shot before me? Would you say? It doesn't really matter what I got. No, to no, 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 no. <laughs> would you, would you say? Don't. Especially after this IBF, IBF international as well. I'm already ranked 14 in the IBF, seventh for the WBO. I'm not calling out these world title shots just yet. You know what I mean? Get, get. I'd lines. be interested in that if you two fought. I think we could. Um, as long as it's worth my while, whether the title, whether it's a good title mm. um, or good purse. Does he still have that WBC silver? Did he have to relinquish that? I'm not too sure. Because he fought for the IBF, so does that I'm not too sure. he it's probably had to it. relinquish it. Well, like I said, it's not like me, me calling him out running after him, but I, I would be interested to hear our mutual management team's mm. offer to me. And if Frank won, won that fight. So I'm looking for meaningful fights. And Mohamed Wasim's fought for a world title. It's a meaningful fight. Get him a win back and then... Good amateur pedigree. Good amateur pedigree. Cornwall game silver medal. Better than I did in the, in the amateurs. But at the same time, obviously it had to be worth my while. Do you know what I mean? I wouldn't fight him for no global offer. Because yeah. I don't need opportunity like that. I'm 23. I'm getting opportunity. I'm getting TV time. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't yeah. need... Yeah, I hear that. Ambition. But I've got ambition. And he's a good fighter. Yeah. And I want to fight good fighters. I don't want to. People have not really given me stick because I've been trying to get a British fight. I even tagged every single fighter in in the British top ten ranking, basically. Who wants to fight on Twitter? And not one person even bit or gave a reply. So I think that shows everything. So people understand that it's not me why I'm fighting a 12 and 2 Mexican. Um, it's not me. It's not my lack of ambition or the routes I want to take. But I'm in a good position now where if no one else wants to fight me, I still get fights. And I still get paid, and I still get opportunities and TV time and, and, and good purses. But like I said, rather than calling out um, my brother, you're not you're not ready for a world. Like, oh, I'm not saying he's not ready for a world. I'm not saying I'm not even saying he couldn't beat Charlie. What I'm saying is he don't deserve. After his his last fight was a loss, right? 
Was that? No, I think he's had one since then. Has he had one since then? I didn't know that. I'm not too sure. He, I think he has, but he hasn't fought. He hasn't fought with Scotland yet. Obviously, he's going to make his debut here yeah. on Saturday but night. He's going to fight the person that Ross Murray beat, beat yeah, at yeah. the light flyweight. Mm. Come on, you know what I mean? If you're wanting world titles, that's not a fight you're going to have, really. Someone that's lost four weeks before to someone that me and Jay Harris has stopped. Do you know what I mean? Why is he not? Why not call out someone like Jay? Why not? Why not? Why not, why not Jay Harris? Why not these these other fighters? Why going straight for world title? What, what have you done to deserve that? Because I know for a fact Charlie's not going to entertain that unless he got come, unless he got given an offer that was much better than everything else. Why, why would he entertain that? Mm. What does a nine? Is that a nine on one? What does a nine on one? I'm sure Wassi? Charlie's got yeah unification. The mandatory's on his mind anyway. Oh, so. well, his mandatory's looking likely, and then come through that upward unification. If not superfly as well. I think it makes sense and I think his promoter would want mandatory defence, unification because it clears up his mandatory and if he wins that, it's that Moriti or Dalakayan or that's an actor that would be me personally, I'll stay away from him <laughs> me personally unless the offer was worth his while do you know mm. what I mean, that's, it's all about it's all a making sure both sides balance at the end of the day because um, once you're a world champion you don't, you don't really need opportunities like that, you need things to make sense Make it make sense, do you know mm. what I mean? And um, and then, carry out fire. I think that's still, arguably, one of the biggest fights in Britain at the moment. And it's Definitely. a super flyweight, it's a super flyweight People, fight. If Eddie's got that on just the main event sky normal night, that People would be, be made brilliant. up with that. Yeah, yeah. And Adam Smith would be happy. Anything? Um, I don't think they'd put next gen on it. Do you know what I mean? Nah, but in all seriousness, that's what I'd like. Um, but yeah, I don't think Mohamed Basim should be calling him out just yet. Maybe, maybe get a meaningful win back and then start calling the big dudes. Get your rankings back up, I think. Well, if he beats you, then would you put, in a, <laughs> put it in the contract that he, he gets Charlie? I think if he beat me, that fight would happen next. I think. Because I've had to clear up some of Charlie's old business in, in the ring before, so he'd have to clean up some of <laughs> Alright, Sonny. Appreciate your time. Oh yeah, I forgot to talk about no joking. <laughs> the main See, man. How come you're not asking me about Tyson Fury? Why would I do that? Because that happened like four days ago. But, but you're not mate to him, right? MTK. He's a stable mate. Yeah, but I'm talking about personal mate. And I know you know him fairly well. Very well actually. Nah yeah, no. I'm still got him. I'm still got him. But I think Imagine if I put I'm gutted for him as that lad. <laughs> I won't do it. I, no, I won't. I won't. Oh, no, I've got I just don't want Coogan on the phone to me for half an hour trying to smooth things out. He was going, I'm so sorry about Umar. He goes, Umar's just a kid. He just he, he don't he's new to the game, he's green. I don't think this ever happened. He but. goes, he goes, he's only one step above Sonny Donnelly. You know what I mean? And you see what happened to him? And Umar's joining him. He left, he just wanted to leave, didn't he? On the scrap. I heard I film of being like behind the gloves and kick, getting their people in and kicking them off. <laughs> right, on that note, we'll leave it there. Ah. It's funny. <laughs> I'm only being a little cunt. <laughs> <laughs>